Our Fox Web investigators found that Portlanders owe more than $23 million on unpaid water and sewer bills. The historic debt comes after the city's Water Bureau suspended water shutoffs and late payment fees through the course of the pandemic. Now the Bureau is asking people to pay up, and there is a chance for future rate increases if the city can't collect what it's owed. Fox 12's Kendra Ken explains in a story that's all new at 6. Water is something that a lot of us take for granted, but there are thousands of people in our community who can't afford to pay their bills. And at this point, some of them are thousands of dollars behind in debt. It's a struggle for those trying to get by and also for the city trying to balance the budget. For more than two years, the water flowed freely, regardless of whether Portlanders could afford the bill. But now the pandemic is winding down and the grace period is over. With the dust settled, residents owe more than $23 million to the city's utility bureaus for unpaid water, sewer, and stormwater bills. $23 million, so yes, that's significant, so we're not going to play that down at all. Now the city's water bureau is trying to collect on that debt, encouraging customers to pay their balance or make payment arrangements or face water shutoffs. Bureau staff resumed shutoffs this past September, turning water off for nearly 2,500 non-paying customers over the last four months. Prior to the pandemic, we were able to basically collect pretty much most of what was necessary to cover the cost of the service that we provide. And post-pandemic, we're not able to. With increasing shutoffs come increasing calls for help to local nonprofits. I have never in my life seen such a large balances that people owe for their water and sewer. Ala Casamova has been with Our Just Future for more than a decade. The nonprofit pays off water or utility bills for qualifying customers, in addition to other services aimed to stabilize the city's most vulnerable populations. Casamova says the organization now averages 60 calls a week from those seeking help with water bills, people who often prioritize paying rent or mortgages just to keep the roof overhead. It's sad to see something like this, how people suffer. Some of them are already disconnected. Some of them have been without water for a week two weeks and they didn't know that we actually have a funding that can help their pay their bill. For our report, we tried to find somebody behind on their water bill or perhaps someone who had their water turned off, but ultimately we couldn't find anybody who was comfortable sharing their story. However, we do know that thousands of Portlanders are struggling. The Portland Water Bureau says some 15,000 customers are behind on their bills, and the Bureau's customer service director says it's something that she can relate to. As somebody who watched their parents struggle to pay bills like this day in and day out who live without water, I know it's rough for them. Quisha Light says the Bureau only shuts off water as a last resort after many attempts to reach customers. I'm begging people to contact us. We are working with customers. We want to figure it out. In these historic times, Light says the Bureau is scrutinizing its assistance programs to help as many people as possible. But it's tough. Light says in general, society has long prioritized helping the poorest with heating and electric bills, not necessarily funneling public dollars toward programs for water and sewer assistance. But a new bill in the legislature, House Bill 3125, could change that. The state that's understanding there is a need that water utilities are trying to balance customer needs, infrastructure needs, and it's, there, isn't, there aren't enough dollars out there. And one big question remains. If the millions in overdue bills aren't paid, what does that mean for the city? And could it lead to more expensive water for everyone? We have to cover our costs. And when we can't do that because some are not paying, then it means we raise rates for everyone. The Bureau says rate increases related to unpaid bills could be possible in the future. Meanwhile, a current proposal for a 9% water rake hike would cover expenses for required regulatory projects, as well as inflation related costs for employee compensation. If you're struggling to pay for your water bill, there are resources and assistance out there. The Water Bureau says give them a call. They can help direct you in the right direction to match you with the right resources. And I'll also be posting some organizations, some links and tips that can also help online at kptv.com. Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.